with us, Maria Cisco Telepresence once again is Isaiah Thomas. And unofficially, Isaiah, you've got to be among the league leaders in appearances here on NBA TV. <laughs> we seems like we talk to you a lot, which we appreciate. Uh, now, nah, thanks for having me. I love. I watch it every night, so I, I dream about being on these shows. <laughs> well, 13 in the fourth quarter for you. I know this has become a, a thing. Your fourth quarter scoring. Your your one or two in the league right now in fourth quarter scoring. How, how does that come about on the floor? Is it just a sort of a known thing among your teammates? Okay, now we get going, or how do you approach it? Um, just taking advantage of the moment, staying in the moment. Um, my, my teammates looked for me to be very aggressive, not just to score for myself, but to make plays for others. And they set me up. I mean, Brad puts me in position to be successful, and my teammates get me open with great screens, and I just try to make the best play possible. Isaiah, we appreciate the humbleness. We, 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 you know you, you playing at a level as well as any point guard in the league right now. Congrats on that. But you, guys, you. Have, you guys have struggled a little bit, and in part not having Avery Bradley I know plays a role in that. But what do you think you guys are going to have to do? You, you talked about it a few weeks ago. You're not on the Cavs level, even though mm -hmm. right now you are with the way they're playing. But yeah. what do you think you guys are going to have to do as your team's presently constructed to have a chance to really – win that Eastern Conference? Uh, we just got to be more consistent. It's like nights like this, we play very well. We play pretty good on the defensive end. And then another night, we don't bring it on that end. Um, so I think if we become a more consistent team, we'll be a, overall a better team. Because we know what we're capable of doing on the defensive end. It's just this season, for whatever reason, we haven't showed that on a nightly basis. Isaiah, first of all, con congratulations on a, a, another spectacular night. and. Uh, having your name mentioned with, you know, the great Larry Bird, you know, in, 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 in Boston is uh, quite an accomplishment. But I want to talk to you about, you know, your, your leadership. You know, everyone knows how well a basketball player you are now in terms of your skills, uh, shooting and passing. Uh, what have you done to lead this Celtics team and also give them the type of confidence that you guys walk out onto the floor with every single night? Um, every night, I just I just let them know we got a chance to be any team, any given night. And um, I'm a guy that talks a lot, but I also lead by example. And I mean, you've told me numerous times that if you lead, they'll follow. And I just try to do the best I can to to lead these guys each and every night, and and they respect me enough to follow my lead. And and when you talk about leading and, and following, uh, I, I know what you do off the court and in the community. But talk about the special relationship that you and you and Coach Brad have developed that that allows you to have the trust of your teammates in of the city to give you this type of leadership role. Um, I think for the most part, I allow him to coach me. Um, we've had numerous talks about a lot of the eyes are on me. So you got to allow me to coach you. And I, and I allow him to do that. And I trust him and vice versa. He trusts me on the floor. Sometimes he. He goes crazy when I shoot a crazy shot here and there, but for the most part, he gives me the reins to, to, to figure it out on, on, um, while I'm out there, and, and I love the guy for that. Isaiah, how will you find out tomorrow that you're named an all-star reserve? Are you going to wait for TNT? Will someone call you before the fact? How does that happen? <laughs> Tell, explain to the fans how an all-star learns he's been named a reserve. Yeah. I mean, I, last year I watched, I watched the show, so I'll probably be watching it this time. And somebody will probably know before me and give me a text message that I won't believe until I hear my name called. Well, okay. congratulations in advance because it seems like a lock uh, for certain. And congratulations on the win tonight as well. 29 straight games now with 20 points or more, second most in Celtics history behind only John Havlicek. Good stuff and a, uh, and a big win tonight. I hope they name that chair for you. <laughs> where you do all these interviews because you've earned it. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll talk to you all soon, right, and we'll Z. see you in New Orleans.